I'm Jennifer from Shabby Fabrics and today I have Kathy Schmitz with me. She's going to lead us in a tutorial about how to make dimensional flying geese. She included that in your newest block of the month called the Patchwork Year. Yep. And that's these stitcheries back here combined with sashing and a really neat technique to do this really interesting uh, flying geese look, but it's right. not with a traditional uh, piecework that no. you normally would do a flying geese. So tell us, how did you do this really cool technique? First off, show me how it, show them how it lifts. Okay, yeah, it's a little dimensional, and I didn't invent it, but um, I love this method. So they they aren't they aren't flat down there. They are a little bit That's dimensional. So cool. And it's just a nice tiny little one uh, on here. So it, uh, to do those to piece those individually would have taken a lot longer. So this was a very quick method. Um, of doing it, and, it, and I like that dimension to it. Too. I do too. Yeah. It, you can you can almost notice the shadow. Yeah, yeah. Of how it right. raises up. A, a, right. So it's it almost looks like prairie points. It does look like prairie points, yeah. but prairie points are really time consuming. Right. And so this not only looks cool, mm -hmm. but saves time. Right. There's no downside. So no. Show yeah. me. Show me. How did you do this? Okay. Well, in my demonstration, uh, I made them a little bigger because this was so tiny, but. Um, what you start with are the same sizes of two reds and the cream. And what you're going to do is fold the cream in half with the wrong sides together and lay that on the edge of the red with the fold up at the top and then the, the right side of the reds together like that. Then you're going to do a quarter of an inch seam right down that side like this. Mm, okay. So now when you open it up, you've got this little piece that's uh, wedged in there. And that's then, fantastic. So we start here. Yep. Sew this, open it up. It, you open it up. Okay. And now we have this little guy. And if you open him up. Oh my god. And gosh. lay him flat. No way. There's the little diamond shape. <sighs> and then you press it. So now you have a nice pressed little piece like that. And then you just continue on. So the next step, you repeat the same thing. So on the end, you're going to fold your light piece, put the fold at the top, lay it down, lay down another red piece, stitch a quarter of an inch, open it up, and then you've, you've got another one on there. So you just keep going on and on. That is absolutely Isn't that clever? so clever. Yeah. That is so clever. So. I just want to double check this. So we will know where to line this up because we always go to the very edge. You go to the very edge. Okay. So go to the very edge, fold this in half with the wrong sides together. Mm -hmm. And I did a lot down. of diagrams in the pattern. Okay. So it's step-by-step -step diagrams kind of like this because I am a visual learner. Oh, I think we so, both, yeah. most of us are. Yeah. So, it, yeah. so it's all spelled out pretty well in the, in the pattern on how to do it. Wow, and so you tell us how many sections that we do. How many sections? Um, since this is uh, on the end, it wouldn't be this full length of the red. It's just half. So, I mean, those directions are in there too. Okay. So it, when you come to the end of each strip, it's only going to be this wide. This it, is so, so fun. Yeah. I cannot wait to and then you make just, this quilt with that. Oh, good, good. That adds that Well, range. the only thing uh, that I'd like to mention, too, is I, it's a good idea to just run a little basting stitch. Just uh, to hold them in course. place. Otherwise, they're a little loose. Understood. So, as long as it's basted, then when you go to stitch it on to your uh, finished piece there, just sew it right on. So you do the basting stitch maybe shy of the quarter inch? Shy quarter inch. Okay, so that way you're not seeing any threads yep. kind of coming in and out. And you don't have to pick them out, you can just leave them in there. Isn't yeah. that yeah. so fun? So this is a dimensional flying geese pattern. Mm -hmm. I am so excited to go home and actually now probably design another <laughs> design a quilt uh, yeah. with that involved in it. So. Thank you so much for you sharing bet. that with us today, and I can't wait to go home and give it a try myself. So, can't wait to get another tutorial from Kathy here <laughs> soon. We'll see what that might include. <laughs>